Thanks. Thank All right. you. Diana Cooley, D I A N A C O O L E Y, spokesperson with the Aurora Police Department. Uh, our officers were investigating and uh, shooting at 142 Delmar Circle at approximately 1121 this morning. Um, they received information that uh, there was a party shot at that location. That party was transported to the hospital and was pronounced deceased at the hospital. We, our officers received information later on that the suspect was at a location here in Denver. Um, when our officers got here, um, uh, another scene evolved here, and I'll let Denver speak in regards to that. So John White, uh, J-O-H-N, W-H-I-T-E, Denver Police Department. So we received information uh, at about 11.30 this morning from uh, the Aurora Police Department indicating that there had been a shooting in their uh, city and that they had officers that were responding into Denver uh, as a result of that. Um, while they were here uh, in the city, they reached out to us to kind of let us know what was going on. Uh, and as they were here uh, at the address, what we understand at this point, and again, this is a very active and ongoing investigation, uh, the suspect exited the residence and a confrontation uh, ensued, which resulted in one Aurora police officer uh, sustaining an injury. He was transported to uh, the hospital uh, where he is currently receiving um, uh, treatment. Um, at this point, we really, out of respect for the family, uh, of the uh, suspect that was involved. We really aren't going to talk about um, his condition at this point. Uh, but again, a very active and ongoing investigation. We heard that so, there was a, a baby was possibly involved. Someone might have been holding a baby. Is that accurate? Well, I've, I've heard that as well. I haven't had an opportunity to follow up on that. Uh, again, uh, a very active uh, scene. We have a lot going on. Uh, we actually have officers here that are uh, securing the residents uh, while we um, try and obtain a search warrant to uh, conduct further investigation. Uh, but I did hear that, um, but I, I cannot confirm that at this point. John, can you tell us uh, in more detail what led to the shooting? Did the suspect point and shoot at officers first? Like, what led to the, uh, him being dead? Well, that's, that's well, uh, again, I, I really can't comment on, on the suspect's condition. Again, out of respect for his family. Uh, but from what I understand, there was a confrontation that ensued uh, when the suspect exited the residence, uh, which uh, resulted in gunfire being exchanged. We did have at least uh, one Denver police officer involved, uh, as well as, uh, from what I understand, uh, the several of our officers. So is it fair to say that the person who ended up here bringing your officers in was responsible for the shooting of Adele Mar that started things off? Well, that was part. That was part of the investigation. And from what I understand, that was why the Aurora officers were here, conducting that investigation. Uh, but again, uh, we really don't have much more beyond what we've just passed on to you. Uh, as we get information, we'll pass on to each of you. Okay. Can you tell us if the if the suspect at this house was shot under Aurora police officer? Did he have a gun? Did he display a weapon of any kind before he was shot? Again, that's part of our investigation. Uh, we will certainly get those answers uh, to you as soon as we're able to secure the scene, uh, make the house safe, get in, and conduct further investigation. Can we say that he's the man suspected of shooting the Aurora police officer? Well, I, we, we can probably, actually, I should probably let, let Aurora uh, speak to that. And but the officer is in the hospital and surgery, so who shot it? Can you tell us at this point? At this point, we're working on that, and we'll get you that information as soon as we can. But at this point, guys, that, that really is all we have. Again, there's a lot of work that needs to be done here. Uh, I didn't know if my colleague wanted to say this something. This scene is still active, so they're not going to be able to speak in regards to, to what's going on here right now. Once it's all wrapped up, we'll be able to give an update later on. Did the suspect live here? Uh, I don't know. Is that SWAT team? Uh, is SWAT, SWAT is here as well as officers from many other uh, jurisdictions to include the airport, which is not unusual. Um, SWAT was called after uh, the the initial incident occurred, uh, and that's why they're here. Oh. Okay. The initial incident, as in like the Aurora police officer being shot, or the pursuit that led uh, officers to this house. I, uh, repeat your question. You said that you just said that SWAT was called after the initial incident. So I'm just trying to clarify: was SWAT called after the Aurora police officer got shot? Uh, yes. Yes. So uh, as we develop more information, we'll pass it on to each of you. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it.